There are doors you can hack, there are doors locked with keycards, and there is one special stupid door. Corridor and challenge dome used to be workout dome, and there's an elevator which we can hack. This is really cool. Uh, this hacking minigame has been applied to a bunch of doors. And here we have a trophy. Oh, they emit a sound. Cool. Unfortunately, the elevator doesn't go anywhere, but if you wait long enough, the doors will close and you can open them. Boo, yeah. The next hackable lock is over here by these weird egg pods. And it's extremely sensitive, this one. So you have to tap G lightly and then keep tapping for a millisecond. Just keep it inside this area on the left. That's all you can do, really. The trick is, I guess, to get the right frequency. And in here we find a tape. The next door to hack is over here, on the right. And this one is rather simple. You have to just get to the hack zone ASAP, and then just stay there. And staying there is not that hard, with gentle taps. And to get there you have to just figure out how many taps you need. Just count them, literally, loudly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, one too many. One, two, three, four... Oops. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, one too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. There we go. This here is the hardest door to hack in Receiver 2 compound. As usual, the first goal is to get inside the area and then stay in there. One piece of advice is to get very close to the lock so the user interface bubble for the hacking minigame uh, takes up a lot of the space on the screen. It just helps you stay inside the area. But the problem is that this one has a lot of randomness to it, so you're gonna have to try for a lot of time. The speed at which our marker falls down is randomized, and the sensitivity of our touch is randomized. Also, just keep your eyes away from the progress of the red, of the enemy, of the counter hacking. Only look at the marker inside the white zone. Don't look at the red bar, it just doesn't help you. So this took me a long, long time. And this is also my third session with this door, within this stream I did. But eventually... Mediated communication using technology is a limited form of interaction. This isn't to say that these interactions are meaningless. Often the opposite is true. Trivial interactions take on... Oh my god, I freaking did it! it ah! The solution is simple. Understand. The first key card is in the changing room. It's a red one, so you need to use it on a red door, not the green door. There's also this thing which would seem very related to what we just saw, the, do the lights above the doors, but it turns off after... This cable looks... this wire looks so... scary. Yeah, there's a weird timer on it. It really would... I would really appreciate just a normal clock so uh, ticking sound effect. Anyways, it actually is used to open all the doors, so let's use it and run. Because, yeah, sure, this one would work, but I don't have a key card for that, and here it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't... Oh, whoa, oh! Okay, I tried it earlier and I failed. I guess I wasn't fast enough, or not... Oh, cool. Uh, there is no key card here, right? Right. Oh, 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 oh! So good that I came back in here. That was a mean place to put stuff. But I found it. All right, let's blow this one open. I don't know where it might lead. 
Run, 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 run. Yes. Okay, cool. Fine. Yeah, good. Hello. The blue key card is here in the garden. On this table. Is there a blue door upstairs? I really don't remember. Yes! Alright, let's try the switch and bait and switch thing. Is the person who sees the light in charge of it? Anyone anywhere can receive come on, the message. Come on. Yes! Oh, nice. Okay, so now we can go here directly. Will I be able to get out? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Just mashing the button helped. Okay, cool. 